it will never be perfect no matter what you do how much you do and that's okay you will always make mistakes and that's good as long as you learn Diese Leitungen werden fast immer eingeliefert. Abdichtung nicht direkt auf die Wand. I'm outside 
on my way back from uni. Today, I first had not such a good day. I'm not doing so well, to be honest. It's the end of the semester. We have submissions very, very, very soon. This week, so on Thursday and Friday, we have one semester project submission. And on in two weeks, two weeks and one day, we have the other big semester project submission and uh, yesterday I wanted to do too much, I wasn't capable of doing so many things in one day. It was very hard, frustrating, everything takes triple as long and then I got really stressed out that my time is running too fast and not be able to finish or not the way I want to and so on. So this really stressed me out and got to me mentally. Um, then today I had a little um, success feeling because I went to the studio and uh, some university friends helped me with the rendering. And it was a new program that I tried to learn today or the last couple of weeks, but only like I worked a little bit last weekend on it and this weekend. So they helped me with things I did not understand and I had at the end of the day quite a nice image. Maybe I can blend it in or I could show you in the end everything, I don't know yet. But I wanted to take you a little bit with me with what's going on during a semester because you guys can't even think of what we're going through in the studies. The reason why I was so stressed out is that the uh, project, we have the submissions on Friday, um, well, nothing is really finished, to be honest, and the calculations were not done, they didn't make sense, and now we have to, I don't know, rethink everything, and some plans are still missing, we have to get going, with fingers crossed that everything works out till the end of the semester, and um, yeah, I hope I you hear from me soon, alive and well, and with a finished project. Take care. Also, I'm going home to work further. <gasps> I'm completely soaked. <gasps> And I don't know how about you, but the design studio, I can't really focus sometimes because there are so many people buzzing around and I need like my space and my concentration to do the work. And now the days consist of waking up, feeling exhausted from the previous day of hard work and then feeling into the work that we have this is what my days like kind of look like right now and i can't wait that it's better very 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 soon i'm planning to go into italy with my boyfriend when everything is done and i can't wait we go to the architecture biennale for the very first time and to florence where i've never been and to cinque terre where also I've never been, so I can't wait. <laughs> also, do you not mind me just chilling in the rain? I love when it rains. In Swiss German, we have a saying that goes, you will get prettier when it rains, but if it's too much, you get like kitsch. I don't know how to translate this, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> and a well-deserved treat. It's Italy when everything is done. Everything is dripping. Thank you. 
On Friday, we had a crit about our structural design project and it went really well. The professor came by several times and said that, that the model was very neat and that our forest diagrams were also good. And so and I was really happy and pleased about that. And today, I think I still have one, two, three, four, five four or five days till the final submission of the semester and well I am somehow stressed but at the same time I'm not I was very chill today and today was model building day so I'm happy that it's this part is done now just make beautiful drawings or finish them and then yeah I also got the fringe, which is crazy right now, but we don't care. Um, we want to survive and finish the semester as best off as we can. Pray with me for that. Today is a beautiful day outside and I just feel like kind of hangover because of the exhaustion. Um, I did a construction axonometry today so a detail work in the morning and now I'm on an elevation of my facade with solar panels um, I might have to do this elevation twice because the solar panels can rotate and they demand so our design studio demands that they see the solar panels in the elevation as well. Unfortunately, I already did the north side, so I already drew that because otherwise I could just have focus on the south side with the panels. But yeah, um, I feel very tired, uninspired, mm, unenergized. And it's Thursday, we have the submission on Tuesday at noon. But I realized that the plans might need a little bit more time than I thought. So it could be that I'm drawing all day today and tomorrow. And then I have two days for the renderings, one day each, which should be enough. But I'm a bit worried that it might not be enough and also the model that i built yesterday i mean it looks fine it looks okay but if you look closely there are so many mistakes let's just hope that the professors and the jury have a bit of an uncorrected sight deficiency <laughs> yeah but that's what's going on today and I'll try to do a break outside hopefully very 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 soon because I haven't been out and it's really beautiful and I need some movement otherwise I go loco. This is my little working station as you see the elevation water and I started to watch Bridgerton some Victorian content that I like while working because it's really a month monotonous work so yeah and in my pgs still I'm inside on my walk and how could it else be differently on a building site in my village? They're planning to build here two parks which is really exciting because it gives me a glance of how beautiful everything will look like once it's done. And yeah, I feel super stressed out right now. I managed two of three drawings in an okayish stand progress right now um, I have to do one more drawing today to keep up on my schedule 
but yeah I'm now on this walk to hopefully calm down and feel energized afterwards and otherwise I'll focus on my renderings and then maybe do the last drawing on Sunday or Monday or so let's see it will never be perfect no matter what you do how much you do and that's okay you will always make mistakes and that's good as long as you learn and wherever your heart is it may feel very heavy and that's okay too because you're invested in something which is a good thing no matter if it's a success or if it fails I'm also speaking towards myself, it's not a generalization of that I demand how it is on this world, it's just a personal opinion and usually when I say or something that sounds like an advice or wisdom, it's me speaking to myself, not giving someone else advice. It's Friday evening, I'm on my way back home. I come back from university where I try to render or set up the scene and yeah. Um, it's a frustrating day because I did not manage what I wanted. So it's going back home and trying again. Yay! I'm outside on a little walk on a sunny day and today is quite a different day than yesterday. I managed to do an okayish rendering of the inside. It's still going actually at home while I'm out here. <laughs> but I desperate need of movement and a bit of something to let out the stress. So I worked till 2 a.m. yesterday on the outside render and I'm still not quite satisfied with the result. So the plan is to do this again. I worked a bit on my layout but I'm also not so happy with it right now. Also this year they made the whole fuss about the layout of our presentation which I do get somehow on what you want to wait more what is more important to you for your presentation but on the other hand uh, it's still a big gamble to the end and with the drawings that you can get or will do till the end so goal is of today to do the outside render with an okayish quality then tomorrow i want to finish a drawing or it's just one about the whole reconstruction concept and then do a try on plot of the whole submission so i can see what i still have to correct on sunday and monday yeah that's the goal on tuesday and what midday is submission and my goal is also to not make an all-nighter because this is the worst I'm pretty good in time, I would say, right now, but it depends a bit on yeah, how long the outside render will go, but I learned already so much this semester, um, yes, and also the last couple of days, which makes me really excited for my further studies. Mm, if I can manage such a progress or such an image in such a short period of time I can only dream of what I hopefully will accomplish in the future. I also realized that if you are not like a little perfectionist and artist you're not having fun in this profession. Oh there's a big bumblebee. Yeah like I like to improve my drawings, renders and so on 
to some extent where I'm not mentally well because I overwork myself so much so yeah but if you don't like like this artistic kind of things and also with a lot of pressure on you and yeah, then this profession is totally not something for you I right now I enjoy the work I am doing which I'm really 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 glad for because this is a privilege It is midnight, the day before submission, and I just printed out my whole layout and now I have to check if everything is alright. What I did basically the whole day was to finish drawings, correct them, write the text, correct them again, make the layout anew and new and new. And I went to university to do this triplot. It's like a provision print um, before the final print, or yeah, and to do like a model pictures with the more urban setting. And yeah, I just hope now that everything is all right. <laughs> I did it into my boyfriend so he could like correct it because I did not have the time to check it with friends at uni myself um, because I had to run to get my last connection back home um, tomorrow it's then the final revise I would say maybe even I have to plot a new uh, depends on how much I have to correct mission, building the whole exhibition and then I will be having the presentation on Thursday but the submission is also now a bit crazier than usual because we have to hand in like every file as PDF, sign a thing that we did everything on our own an Eigenständigkeitserklärung it's called in German and yeah so wish me luck and I might show you everything in the end. I'm not so sure about this right now, but I thought this is a good way to document my uni life. And I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I'm going to Italy on Friday and maybe I record everything and take you with me. I'm not so sure yet. Ricordi la montagna di Sergio che